So we've, we've got a, a grain bin over here. It's 18 feet in diameter. It holds somewhere between 4,500 and 5,000 bushel of shelled grain. Uh, we've been using it for the last two years for uh, storing our oats in until we sell them. Uh, one of the things this bin has is it's got a it's got a, a full aeration floor under the entire portion of the bin. So we've we've got a high capacity aeration fan on that bin that allows us to provide even a full bin of oats with the amount of aeration they need to get through their sweat cycle after you harvest them or simply to keep them in condition if you're storing them for a long period of time. Oats will naturally go through what's called a sweat. They'll get hot, uh, but uh, if they won't spoil if they, unless they're, you know, you get them up around, let's say, 16% moisture, you're going to have, probably have some problems. But if you start out at 14% and then you're drying it down with air, you're going to be fine because then you're going to get it down to what, 11 12, I think, for storage, somewhere in that area. Uh, think of it kind of similar to soybeans, I guess, where you'd want them under 14 for storage. I'm looking for 13, ideally 13%. And then we don't have to worry about it spoiling. We don't have to have air on it, although I will absolutely put air on it every time because I don't want to have hot spots. I don't want to have any mistakes because we are raising it not just as an as a undifferentiated commodity product like corn. I'm raising it for my own usage on seed, so I have to keep the germination up. I don't want to lose germ from a good crop and then make it into a lousy crop just because I didn't store it right. For seed, we use those little cone-shaped, uh, or those little screw-in fans. They're a pipe about six feet long and a, a fan that sits on top of that pipe and uh, that works really well for cooling down small uh, amounts of and drying small amounts of grain. I, I just really like those screw-in fans. We have the advantage of a, of a continuous flow dryer that we can run them through just as a matter of um, taking off any top end moisture. If it's at 15 percent we can drop it down to 12 and a half and put it in the bin. So it just depends on your goals, I guess. Um, on the storage side, we have a, a bin with a, a, a small hole aeration floor and a, a, a good centrifugal fan on it. Uh, so we have the capability to put a good amount of airflow through that bin um, and a drying floor that can handle small grains being on top of it without the small grain falling through that drying floor. The, we've got roof vents all the way around the top. so. You know, even if the, the weather is uh, wet and you don't want to open the lids on top, you don't have to open the center cap or the side uh, entry door to aerate the grain inside. You can turn the fan on and there's enough, we have enough uh, vent capacity on the roof there that it, it allows the full amount of air you're pumping into the bin to be relieved through the roof.